How's this for something new from Pontiac for your consideration? No, it's not the first time there's been a Firebird convertible, but this year is the first time the Super Hot Bird has been available with a drop top. So think of it this way. If you like the wind in your hair, wouldn't it be more fun to make the wind move faster? You bet. Historically, the formula has always been the Firebird with the more restrained styling compared to the Trans Am that gets fog lights and frequently an add-on spoiler on the deck lid. You may order the Ram Air option for either trim package this year, but we like the good taste of our tester, a black-as-night formula that looks good with the top up and even better when it's down. The only highlights are the high-intensity turn signals used as daytime running lights and the chrome five-spoke wheels available only with the Ram Air option. Inside, we had optional leather front and rear, but comfortable adult seating only for two in the fully adjustable front buckets. The driver faces a full set of gauges dominated by the 150 mile per hour speedometer that is needed with this car. The stereo controls the optional CD changer, air conditioning is standard on all Firebirds, and below that is the joystick, the optional six-speed manual. With the stick and a quick clutch foot, you can vaporize the 50 Series Z-rated Goodyear Eagles on demand thanks to the functional nostrils in the power bulge hood. Directly behind is the high flow air filter and straight in plumbing to the throttle body of the 5.7 liter V8. Force feeding cool air bumps the power 20 horses and adds 10 foot pounds of torque and that will get the wind moving. Zero to 60 is 5.6 seconds, then get the shifts right at the power peak and the quarter is gone in 14 flat at 101 miles per hour. If it's top-down stoplight racing that you like, there's not much on the street to worry about. Just the Corvette, Camaro SS, and Firebird Ram Air Coupe. The last two are a hair quicker because they're a few pounds lighter than the convertible. And the Coupe is a bit faster through the 600-foot slalom, too. The convertible runs 16-inch wheels and tires, while the Coupe gets 17s and stiffer suspension settings. But we find no fault recording 64.6 miles per hour with very predictable handling and little body roll. On the skid pad, the Eagles are good for 0.87 Gs in lateral acceleration, with increasing understeer at the limit, which you'd expect with 56% of the weight on the front tires. But the power is there to hang the back end out when you want, or bring it around if your foot's too heavy. Pontiac does provide the means to control all this performance with four-wheel discs and standard anti-lock. We got excellent braking pulling down from 60 to zero in 118 feet. It's a performance package few other cars can approach at any price. And the list gets even shorter if you want the added pleasure of the takedown roof. So what's it cost from Pontiac? About $30 less than $32,000. That's with the $3,000 Ram Air option, leather, and the CD changer in the trunk. Not bad, really, when you consider the performance and that there will almost certainly be some collector demand for this car in the years ahead. Now, it is true the WS6 Ram Air convertible is a tick slower than the coupe because the cloth top model is a bit heavier. But I gotta tell you, when the weather cooperates, this is the way to go. Pick up the